Hi, I would like three minutes to explain to you why people resist changes or ideas that you have. So those of you who don't know me, my name is Patrick Stahl. I'm the lead trainer at Perfect Life. I teach leadership and self-leadership. If you like that, please follow me. Now, three types of resistance according to Rick Maurer. Now, people, if you want to propose an idea, then make sure that you get the other party to understand it. Because the first resistance is that they don't get it. They simply don't get it. They don't understand what you want to do, what change you're selling, what pitch you're trying to do. You, they don't get it. And they will say that probably. Mm, I don't quite get it. And then you have to make sure that you speak two languages, not just details and facts and figures, but also emotions and big picture and metaphors so that you reach the people on the other side so that they get it. Hmm? If they get it, there's maybe a chance that they don't like it. That's a second type of resistance. They will not say, yes, I totally get it. I just don't like it. Most likely they're polite and they will say, mm, I don't, still, still don't quite get it. But what they're really saying is, sell this to me. Explain to me why this is good. Because they get it. They just don't like it. So in that situation, the rookie mistake is that we, we, we hit them with all the pros and we try not to mention the cons. We say, it's fantastic, it's going to be great, it's going to be super, super duper. Let's not talk about the cost. Hmm? Or let's not talk about the negative consequence of this reorganization. Let's just look, look, fantastic, it's going to be fantastic. So what you need to do is to sell it by saying, these are the pros and these are the cons. And as you can see, the pros outweigh the cons. The upside is bigger than the downside. That's why this is important. But it could be that they get it. Hmm? And they even like it. They may love it. But maybe they don't like you. And it's nothing personal. Just that you represent something. It could be cultural. It could be professional. It could be that you're a middle-aged white man. That you're Scandinavian. It could be that hmm, if you come into a room and you say, hi, I'm Bill, I'm from legal, and people go, oh, shit, someone from legal. And suddenly you have to carry that weight. You haven't even more than introduced yourself, and people are still, you know, they're immediately judging you because they, you represent something that, that they fear. It could be that if you're half someone's age, that they feel threatened, but here's the, here's the thing. People will not say, ah, yes, I understand your, your proposal. I, I, I actually, I think it's a brilliant proposal. But, you know, um, you're half my age and you're also a woman. So as a middle-aged white man, I feel threatened by, you know, your brilliance. So I'm going to vote no. People don't say that. What they say is, hmm, I don't quite get it. So you need to decode which type of resistance are you confronting. Is it that they don't get it? Or is it that they don't like it? Or is it that they don't like you or whatever it is you represent? If you're a doctor, if you're from legal, if you're from finance, if you're young, if you're old, if you're Swedish, if you're Russian, if you're whatever. Whatever it is that you represent, if that is the obstacle, if they resist it because you, you rub them the wrong way for some reason without even opening your mouth. In that case, the only thing you can do is to build trust. You need to build trust. If someone can vouch for you, that's called trust by proxy. That someone says, you should listen to this guy or you should listen to this person because they, they have good ideas. They've helped us in the past. Or you can address the elephant in the room. I usually do that. If I, as, a, as a consultant, I come into the room and I want to preempt that resistance by saying, I know that probably the last thing you want is another external consultant. But I got this thing, it takes just 15 minutes, and if you don't like it, you can kick me out the door as, you know, any old consultant. Okay? So you can, you can actually address it just to buy yourself time to build trust. So... I hope that helps you. If you like it, please subscribe to this channel. Take care.